Good evening. You're watching State of Business on our television. This is Zeenat Musafir and these are the headlines. Eight state ministers and 10 deputy ministers sworn in before president. Sri Lanka aims to attract more Chinese tourists in bid to reach tourist arrivals targets, says Minister Amaratunga. News in details. The cabinet reshuffle continued today with eight state ministerial portfolios and 10 deputy ministerial portfolios being reassigned. The new state and deputy ministers were sworn in before President Maitripala Sirisena at the presidential secretariat this morning. Accordingly, the following ministers were appointed for the reassigned ministerial portfolios. Palitharanga Bandara, State Minister of Irrigation and Water Resources Management and Disaster Management. Dilip Dedarachi, State Minister of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources Development and Rural Economy. MLAM Hizbullah, State Minister of Highways and Road Development. Mohanlal Grero, State Minister of High Education and Cultural Affairs. A.D. Champika Premadasa, State Minister of Plantation Industries. Lakshman Seniviratna, State Minister of Public Administration and Management and Law and Order. Shriani Vijay Vikrama, State Minister of Sports, Provincial Councils and Local Government. Veera Kumar Desanayaka, State Minister of Mahavali Development. Amir Ali Shihab Dean, Deputy Minister of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources Development and Rural Economy. Dinesh Gankanda, Deputy Minister of Lands and Parliamentary Reforms. Ranjan Ramanayaka, Deputy Minister of Social Empowerment. Karna Ratna Parnavitana, Deputy Minister of Science, Technology and Research, Skills Development and Vocational Training and Hill Country Heritage. Sarathi Dushmanta, Deputy Minister of Justice and Prison Reforms. Paritha Kumara Tevarap Peruma, Deputy Minister of Sustainable Development, Wildlife and Regional Development. Manu Shanani Akara, Deputy Minister of Telecommunication, Digital Infrastructure and Foreign Employment. Mutu Sivalingam, Deputy Minister of Internal Affairs and Biomed Development. Said Ali Zahir Maulana, Deputy Minister of National Integration, Reconciliation and Official Languages. AMM Haris, Deputy Minister of Public Enterprise and Candy Development. Minister of Tourism Development and Christian Religious Affairs, John Amaratunga says that Sri Lanka plans to attract more Chinese tourists in a bid to achieve its target of 2.5 million tourist arrivals in Sri Lanka by the end of this year. Firstly, I would like to say, in January, we had an input of 24,275 Chinese coming to Sri Lanka. In February, we have 35,929 Chinese tourists coming to Sri Lanka. In March, we had 23,101 Chinese tourists who visited Sri Lanka. Now, that is not enough. Comparatively, that is nothing. So, therefore, we have to make an extra effort to bring in more tourists from the Chinese to come to Sri Lanka. Addressing a media briefing recently, Minister John Amaratunga also made the following remarks. Because we find that out of the countries around the world, China is the best bet for Sri Lanka. 100,000 Chinese tourists will come to Sri Lanka between this month and next uh, May 2019. And into that 100,000, there will be high-end there will be the middle spending group and the low spending groups. With that, who is going to benefit? One, the government or the country of Sri Lanka. We will require a large number of hotels, rooms to accommodate all the Chinese who are coming into this country. We will require a large number of travel agents, tour guides, who will be accompanying the Chinese guides in taking them around Sri Lanka. Then also, there will be a lot of shopping that will be done by these tourists. Once again, our local traders would be the beneficiaries. It's time to go in for a short break. Do stay tuned for more news after these commercials. Welcome back. Chief Minister of the Western Province, Isurudeva Priya, says new initiatives have been taken in the Western Province to boost tourism arrivals in the region. 
He made this statement addressing the ceremony to welcome the governor of the Western province, Dr. Hemakumar Rananya Kara, and the occasion to pay tribute to the former governor, K.C. Logeshwaran, at the Sri Lanka Foundation Institute this morning. <laughs> Santara Viapare Venue, Yam Deva may Palas May Palate, Heta Venue, May Palat Janata Venue, Api Yam that Deva Militi Gana Palapurtino, Lankawe Pratama Vata, Api Nisaru Pun Madhyastani, Api Dan Aramakaran Mulgalatiana, Api Sudan and Kalatina, Api Utumata take Aradana Karano, Eva Game, Api May Api Sanjara Karmanti Venue, then Api May Nut and Latina Pahayangal Amatarava, Alaval, Alavala. Auru Tispan the Hak Iperini, E the Apita Hambila Tina, E Minis, Ataka to Bagema, Bengal, Pradesh in Viagrange, Data, Egan of Isha the Grande, Ape Rate, Tiase, Pera, Singu, Bagema put it, Ape Rate in Latino, then Api Eve, Api Eva Pisandrakshene Garala, Api Kauduga, Radala, Ape Santara, Viapari, Api Handuna Gratino, Santara, Kistana, Basna, Poloma Cultura, Gampa, and Desi Pana. Let's take a glimpse at how the stocks perform today after these commercials. Welcome back. Trading at Colombo Stock Exchange ended on a negative note today. The All Share Price Index dropped 15.30 points to close at 6,518.64 and the S&P SR20 dropped 10.21 points to close at 3,642.79. The turnover was 612.7 million rupees and 33 million shares were traded. Next is Forex Rates. That's all the news we have for you today. Join us tomorrow at the same time with State of Business on Art Television. Until then, take care and good night.